hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can export all the pdf document pages inside a jpg image or a png image so basically this is the application which we will be building inside the browser using pure vanilla javascript we will be using pdf.js library so here you can basically select your pdf document guys so i will basically select my pdf document so you will see this is a pdf document which is there and now it will exactly tell me guys how many pages with it is there exactly you will see it is there 846 pages are there so uh, it is showing a table here and in the second column we have a download button so if i basically click the download button guys it will take the screenshot of the particular page and it will export this inside a jpg or uh, image here if i open this image you will see it has successfully exported that PDF page into an image and we are able to download that uh, as an image here. You can see JPG image is there. So if you want to basically convert the PDF document pages guys into individual images, this is a re really useful application. You will see the page numbers are written. So you can individually go to a particular page and basically take a screenshot of it and you can download it as a P JPG image. You can see that now it has taken the screenshot as an image jpg image and we are able to download this inside the browser so we are doing it inside all the javascript code guys so basically this is a pdf document that we are taking you can even open this inside google chrome this is the exact pdf document guys you will see 846 pages are there so we are basically taking the image of that particular pdf page here so you can see this is a PDF document. So if you want to take the screenshot, you just need to upload, select the PDF document. And after that, it will exactly inside this table like structure, it will basically tell you how many pages are there for each page. It will basically render out this download button and you will be able to download this as a JPG image. You will see that this is a really useful application guys. Most of the times we need the PDF document pages as individual images so in that case you can export your PDF document pages into individual image so we have coded this application entirely in JavaScript guys so let me just show you how it is coded if you want the full source code you can purchase the full source code by going to the description of this video so you will get this directory structure and you will get a zip file you need to simply extract this and you will get these three zip uh, files here. so I will code this inside this video so so we are using some bootstrap guys you can see we are included this bootstrap cdn and now let me start building this application from scratch so now let's get started so first of all guys what we need to do is that we need to have a simple container class which will be the bootstrap class of uh, you will see diff class container and inside this guys we will have similarly a simple form where the user can select the PDF document. So we will have an input type file and we will give it a form control class or bootstrap and we will only be accepting the PDF file guys. So you will see that we will only be accepting the PDF files and it should be required. That's all. So after this guys, we will have a table. We will give it a class to the table, which is a bootstrap class, which is table table stripe. And right here, guys, uh, we will give it an ID to the table so that we can target in JavaScript. So right here, guys, we will write the script JS code inside a separate file. So this will be JavaScript code. So inside the HTML, you will see, guys, we have a simple input field where we can select the PDF document. And then we have a table in which we will be showing all the number of pages which are inside the PDF document and the download button. So now we need to write the script.js code guys. So now create a script.js file. So right inside this file guys, we will write our JavaScript code. So first of all, what we need to do is that we need to get access to the input field. So we can here use document.getElement by ID. So we have given the ID to the input element. So just give it an ID here also. Just give it an ID file input. So after you give this ID, you will can access like this. And now we can basically add an event listener. So whenever it change guys, basically we can have this callback function. We can get access to the file, which is e.target.files. And we can say zero. 
So after getting access to the file guys, we can make use of the reader API, file reader API. And after this, whenever the reader onload event occurs, we can basically inside this callback function, we can uh, read the file. For doing this guys, uh, we also need to, just after this, outside this, we do need to basically call reader, reader dot read as array buffer. We need to read as array buffer and we need to pass here file, the actual file which is there. So let me just do that. So after you do this guys inside this onload event, we will basically do all the heavy lifting that we need to do. So inside this, we will create a new variable, which is typed array. We will say new and we will use this new uninteger and we will say eight array. And inside this, we will pass this dot result. So whatever result comes out, so after this guys, we will say that uh, PDF library and it contains this method get document and uh, we will get access to the document. So PDF JS guys, it contains this uh, method, which is get document. After this, we will have the promise and inside this function, we will have the PDF document return. And now guys, it will exactly tell us how many pages are there inside the PDF document. So we can get using this property. So we can alert the number of pages which are present inside the PDF document. So if I basically uh, select, you will see exactly it will tell me 846 pages are there. So we are exactly getting the value, how many pages are present inside the PDF document. So after we get this number, our job is pretty much very much simple. We just need to create a table and uh, we just need to run a for loop. So we will create this table guys. We will say document got that element by ID. We'll get the uh, ID which we have given to the table. After this guys, we will say header and we will say that table dot create uh, table head. So, and after that we will insert the row. So we will say insert a cell method and here we will say dot append child and we will append a child guys which will be will create a text node create text node and inside this we will say page number like this similarly guys we will create uh, another cell which will be header insert cell and we will append a child here and inside this guys we will say document dot create text node and this time we will have a download button so it will contain two columns. First is a page number and download. And now we will use basically our for loop guys. So we will say let i is equal to one. And i less than equal to number of pages. And i plus plus. Inside this loop guys, we will first of all create the row, which is insert row method we will use. And inside this row guys, we will say insert cell and we will insert the cell. We will again use append child here. And inside this child guys, we will say that to create text note and we will create the text node I. So we put the page number and then for the download button guys, it is very simple. We will say that document dot create element. We will create a button element. And after this, we will say that download button text content and this will be simply download and download button. Uh, we will keep have a event listener. So whenever the user clicks on this button, so what will sh what should happen? We will have this callback function. So inside this callback function, guys, we will say PDF dot get page I and we have this callback function and the page will be written. And what we need to do guys, we need to take the screenshot of this. So now to take the screenshot, we will have the first of all our canvas element. We will say create element canvas. And after creating that element, we will say viewport and page dot get viewport. 
and here we will pass our scale parameter you can just pass any parameter any value here we will put one here and then we will get the context we will say canvas dot get context so we will get the 2d context here guys so we will put the width of the canvas to be viewport dot width and the height of the canvas to be viewport dot height so after we set this value as well guys after this we just need to create the viewport render context object and inside this option we just need to pass the con canvas context to be context and the viewport to be viewport that's all these are the two values that we need to pass guys that's all so now this contains a method guys page render and uh, we will pass the render context and then it returns a promise promise then and function and this is slightly complicated code guys so you can go to the description and purchase all the source code we will convert this to a blob object and now this will have the blob here we can create the link here just converting from the blob into a link you can say create element a anchor element and then we can say link dot download to be page uh, dash plus i dynamically this is all going on in the loop guys so we are not outside the loop we are inside the loop so this will do for all the pages dot jpg you can just change the extension to png as well so link dot href which will be uh, URL create object URL and we will pass the blob that's all and after this guys we will simply click on the link click link dot click and here we can pass the mem type guys so you can here pass the mem type of jpg image dot jpeg that's all and uh, after this let me say one two three now inside here also guys we can say row dot insert cell and we can call append child and we can say download button that's all so this is all the code guys so now if i refresh the application so what should happen if i say you will now see it will render out all the download buttons for all the pdf document pages here you will see that it contains 846 pages and we can individually click any of the button uh, i think some error has been taking place so while live live coding guys uh, some page dot get viewport is not a function so what I will do guys, uh, you can go to the description and purchase all the source code. Sometimes uh, while live coding, <laughs> uh, some error can take place. So I can simply copy this and paste it. So simply I will paste this code. Again refresh. So if I select now guys, you will now see basically download and now you can see our jpg image file is downloaded you can see individually you can select any sort of document page and you can export them into a jpg image so it's a really awesome application the link is given in the description you can purchase this full source code it's a very reasonable source price that i have put here so not a lot of money you need to pay you can see that it's a very awesome application you deploy this on your own domain name you can earn a lot of money as well people will come to your tool they will only select the PDF document and then this application will render out all the download buttons for all the pages. So individually you can export them to a JPG image. So this was the application guys. Hope you will like it. We are using this library. If you don't know, we are using this library PDFJS. It's a very awesome library which allows you to basically uh, view PDF documents, convert or create PDF documents. So thank you very much guys for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next live stream.